right, so in the past i said i was going to do a lot of reactions to son's videos because i can i can relate to a lot of his videos sometimes i can't relate but i feel like i could give a lot of good or decent advice you know of course that's all subjective but this video today is called life fuel instantly hired at a warehouse and work today so um i did watch his past video um where he said he was applying to mcdonald's or something like that i haven't been watching all of his videos but i've been i i watch one or two like listen to a little bit here and there if i have time and so i'm gonna get straight into this and i might start reacting to more of his videos just to like give a different um a different perspective you feel me because a lot of shit that i feel like he says some of it is is just in in the wrong direction you feel me i, I don't know how to say it exactly but let's get into it my iq is extremely low i I can't believe, like, I'm actually so happy right now. For once in my life, like, this is major fucking happiness for me. Because, first off, I got a job today and worked on the same day. And the fact that, listen, I wasted months, and like, not, I, I never really wanted to apply to a warehouse because I've heard people say it's backbreaking, just horrendous work, and I kind of avoided it. That's all you hear about it, but there's people that do it and people who actually enjoy it and people who think it's easy. So warehouse jobs is for some people and it's not for some people. Like every job out there, some people can do it. Some people are going to call it the worst job ever. It's just, it's all based on perspective. So you feel me? Applying to those and would apply to other stuff instead, mostly fast food, but um, I tried to avoid warehouses. I think I've applied to like maybe one or two over the past couple months. And today, well, yesterday I applied to a ton of warehouse jobs just because I was just pissed off and just decided, you know, fuck it, I'll work at a warehouse. And today I had a... That's how it goes when you search and for real, for real, you apply, you gotta apply to anything at that point, you feel me? Um, but that's just how it goes. You get pissed off, you start clicking on everything and just hitting apply, 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 apply you can't find a job and you or when you just starting out and you don't have a job like just applying to anything interview it was it was what 12 hours not even a full day and i already got an interview and a call and guess what the interview okay so the guy he didn't even ask me any questions really he only asked are you in school are you in the, you know certain jobs they'll take anybody you feel me they take anybody they don't ask questions and you feel me i've i've been through my fair share of jobs where they just it seems like they'll hire anyone you feel me even if they do interview you they just make it sure that you just a normal uh, regular person or like sometimes they, they don't even care like you could be wild or whatever and they just i mean it's all at the end of the day with jobs sometimes it is a numbers game like you feel me they just trying to fill a quota in college which right now no um i think i go back in like september but and then and then he asked me can i work on holidays which i said yes i can work on holidays because guys i have no fucking friends my family fucking hates me i have no girlfriend i could even work on christmas if i fucking wanted to fuck christmas any holiday i could work on because i have nothing going on Got that job. and today you know the job itself it's in a warehouse and this guy showed me around basically what I had to do. If if today is like any other day, like if today is the same as like like every other, if, if this job is like the same every day, I will literally work 12 hours a day because at the moment... See, I know where he's coming from with that because even me, when it seems so good to be true and you just hope... And every day is probably going to be like every other day for, for the most part, you feel me? Um, Because... You do a lot of the same same processes with most jobs. Like once you start and they teach you the the initial steps anyway, eventually you end up just doing most of the same processes, um, maybe with slight variations. But in this case, um, you better hope that's not the case because even though the clock flew by today, that doesn't mean it's gonna fly by every single other day that you work. And um you feel me but i've been through the same situation like with my current job sometimes the clock just flies by and the thing is why i would recommend not doing this 
a warehouse job specifically is because you could work from home doing a work from home job without doing you know a lot of physical labor it's more mental you feel me um when you do work from home jobs but um you could work from home and have the clock fly by like that you feel me and i'm i'm pretty sure most people would be more comfortable working from home but in this situation sometimes you people use work to run away from home you feel me if 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 that's where you you know the source of your unhappiness is then going to work is a blessing for a lot of people because some people don't like being home so their work is like their escape because you don't have school anymore so it's like you know you gotta escape and work is your way to escape from your problems <laughs> you feel me and that's probably why the clock flies by like that the time just flew by like and i it just i was just busy kept myself occupied and just like that, it was over. Like, it literally just, the time just flew right by. So and, literally how much? You know, I will work 12 hours a day. They want to start me off part-time Sometimes the first, time just and I got, I got to fill out all this got paperwork so much and work shit to do. soon, but, you know, by tomorrow. But I will work full-time 12 hours a day because I got nothing to come home to. I fucking hate sitting alone in my house not doing shit, and I can't believe the fact that I could have had this job months ago you know months ago when my friends left me all that shit when i had nothing to fucking do i could have had this job <laughs> you know instead of wasting all my savings on shit you see this might be the redemption right here that he needs this job might be his redeeming arc right here you feel me this this might be what he needs to pull himself up out of this you know to struggle and make new friends all of that like well and the warehouse job is probably like where it's possible to actually make friends you feel me because like you're over there doing work and there's other people doing the same i mean the same thing as you so it's like i mean this might be his his path and here's something i really regret i regret fucking going to college and listening to my parents and being forced to go to that fucking crack shack bullshit because first off i, I will never change my mind will never change. There will never be an epiphany of, oh, I want to be a doctor. Oh, I want to get a degree. And no, never. That's probably not going to be your epiphany, but you'll probably have an epiphany eventually. I mean, I think you've already had one for the most part, kind of, um, you know, with this whole um, black pill thing. But there, you're going to have multiple epiphanies in life. It, it's just just how life works you learn stuff and you figure things out and you realize that you wasted time and resources and for me you could have done better here and there um you're gonna have an, another one eventually it's, it's just bound to happen that's just how life works ever i've been like this for as long as i can remember there's no and eventually in the future you're gonna look back at this job when you possibly have a better job you're gonna look back at this job and be like I could have been doing this job since since the beginning instead of wasting my time at that warehouse job you feel me no fucking job or degree that i want that would ever interest me in any way i've been like every time i get a newer job or like every time i moved up i've been like wow i could have been doing this job like this job isn't like i could have done this starting off and making more money you feel me so it's like Every time you move up, you're going to have an epiphany and be like, damn, I could have been over here. You feel me? Through it all. And of course, oh, you should try liberal arts and then you'll figure it out. No. And I graduated with that and wasted my time. I wish I had worked straight out of high school. And, you know, this job, this warehouse job, it's minimum wage. And I really am only convinced time. I got, only got the job because of my height and time, my age. So. That's it. That's why, that's why I think I got Unless the job. Unless you go for like... was because I was lucky enough to be tall, things. born tall, and... um I was lucky enough to be young at the moment because I think here's the thing. I think the reason why like it's mostly young people because there's only young people in the White House, young tall dudes. That's literally it. it's 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 literally a manlit free zone. I'm not even joking. And there, there's no significant height difference between anybody at all. Like we're all literally around the same height, like five ten to six foot. That's literally the the um the height. Like there's everyone's the same height. So um. You know, it's a manly free zone, and I'm all, I'm convinced that's the reason why I got the job was because, um, my age too. Like this is this is what happened. What I was gonna say was, these dudes they think they can work these jobs for, forever, and then they find out. You know, the age pill kicks in, and then 
they get back problems and all this and they can't work because like all the age pill kicks in the health problems and all that yeah exactly construction it happens to a lot of people construction workers here this that i mean eventually um that back break at work is going to destroy you you feel me and which is another reason why i wouldn't um, recommend this job but it's a good place to start off so i mean yeah like the I'm, I'm getting my schedule i don't know when i'm gonna work next week but is it is it over because i'm excited to work at a warehouse like i think that's how you know it's over when you are getting excited to work at no nah, no nah, it's not over that is a it's just a starting part you gotta look at it you gotta start somewhere you gotta start somewhere and even if you did setbacks you feel me it's just a minor inconvenience to get you to a, a better point you feel me hopefully hopefully you eventually get to a better point at a warehouse especially like if i'm i'll work a 12-hour ship shift and be content with it i mean who knows listen who get knows maybe i'll start hating it in the future and get uh, your money up you know it'll start to suck but today like honestly i'm not even sore or anything um you know it's just it wasn't uh like my arms legs my because i was standing all day everything's fine so far and what i was gonna say was basically what it is it's in the basement the warehouse and i basically i put the shit on the elevator this dude tells me what to put on put it on there and just lift it up like press the button like that's it's literally guys like 80 iq work like that's it's just repetitive over and over and over again and i mean i'm cool with it it literally felt like the time went by. I didn't have to think about shit. I just did my shit, and now I'm home. So, and it really, like, I am I was just in shock, the fact that I worked the same day I was hired. Like, has that ever happened to any of you guys where you it work happens. the same day you're hired? It happens. It happens a lot more than you would even realize. Like, yeah, it happens. Um, It doesn't happen all the time, but... It, it happens. I've never gotten something like this before, you know. So if you're if you're over five ten and you're young, work at a warehouse because they will hire you instantly. Like this guy, literally, all he did was, um, he just asked me those two questions and said, "You, you can you start now?" And that was that, literally. Now, if I was five foot two and a blonde Stacy, would I get hired? Probably not, because. That because I think the reason why it's mostly tall dudes in there is because I can reach shit, you know. And I also got to learn how to use this like it's like this thing on wheels you use to like uh, pick up like a bunch of boxes and shit. Forklift, forklift. Um, but it seems like very easy. It seems very easy. Um, and I really like it so far. Like this was a really good first day. It was a really really good first day. And yeah, I don't. I mean, like I said, I think I put like. I preferred, uh, what was it, like, late night? Because I really do. Because, like, listen, I didn't talk to anybody except for the one dude that, like, showed me around and showed me what to do. He was the only dude I talked to for, like, what, 20 minutes? And then I just did my own shit for, like, eight hours. That was that was pretty much it. Like, for eight hours, I did my own thing. I didn't talk to anybody. I had, like, maybe one or two small talk, hi, hello, like, you know, type of things. But if you have bad social skills... This is probably a good job, too, because I didn't talk to anybody. I didn't have to. You know, I didn't have to talk to a single person. I was by myself the whole time. And I'll make an update like a week from now on how the job is going. But I really want to work full time. He said he's going to start me out part time for the first month. But I really do want to work full time. Get get in as many hours as I can. Fuck sitting home, you know, but. So far, it was a good day. We'll see. We'll see yeah, how, man. you know, maybe, who knows, maybe. All I got to say is, um, you feel me? There's not much to say. I'm I'm actually kind of, you feel me? I, I hope it works out, like, and this is just a stepping stone to him, like, improving himself for real, you feel me? Getting, getting up there. He worked the warehouse, keep working out, and eventually move up, you feel me? That's just how it works, and. Uh, you feel me? I, I I look at this as a, a positive, you feel me? Even though he's saying some stuff that's kind of negative in terms of the, you know, not having to have social skills, because social skills are necessary, but, um, you feel me? You got to be able to talk or something and say what you mean. Um, But 
at the same time, it's still a good look because it's still something. It's better than, like you said, sitting at home. Get your money. Work them hours. Work that overtime. Get your money up. Get out the crib. And that's pretty much it. Keep work on your, what you got to do, feel me? Regardless, this is a, a positive, you feel me? This isn't black. This isn't black pill content, you feel me? This is not black pill content right here. So I'm happy to see like improvement in someone's life. And um, regardless of how he's making it seem, um, you know, there's a lot of pessimism in here, but is is on the route to optimism. You feel know I me? Mean? It's on the route. Like it's on the up and up. So